This is William Fox with Coindesk. Today we're joined by Vitalik Paturin. We're going to be talking about Ethereum and stateless clients. Great to have you today. Yeah, great to be here. Can you describe stateless clients to us? It's ETH 1.5x or 1.5 is what we're talking about. 1.x, yeah. Uh, so basically the idea is that a yeah, regular uh, client um, has uh, what's called the um, the entire history and the entire state, right? So the history is kind of blocks and transactions that have happened historically, and the state is like the current account balances, contract code, contract storage, and of information that is needed to process the next block. And the way that clients work in Bitcoin and in Ethereum and in most blockchains is they have the entire state and they process sort of blocks coming in, right? Now. The problem with this approach is um, that the size of the state is uh, getting very big and accessing the state requires reading the disk a lot uh, and so there's a lot of kind of barriers to just having a client um, and then of client scalability just because of the size of the state. And so the idea of a stateless client is basically that you have a client that does not ha um, hold the state and instead it just uh, st holds the, the root Mer Merkle hash of the state. And when it receives a block, it receives a block along with a Merkle proofs uh, proving what accounts had block accessed and proving like, what the previous balances are and what the, and what the new balances are. And instead of, uh, kind of checking re um, reads and writes against the state on disk, um, the client checks reads and writes against uh, the Merkle proof. And so the client basically does the same verification that it would normally do, except it doesn't store the state. It just uh, kind of grabs the state in real time but, and, and verifies it using his Merkle proofs um, and so that it can do the same verification. Um, this is highly experimental, correct? Um, the idea has been around for years. Um, in terms of implementation, it's definitely experimental. OK. So one idea I've seen in the recent AMA you guys did, uh, the ETH2 chief scientist did on Reddit, you guys talked about if stateless clients, for whatever reason, don't work, the backup plan is to put the current ETH1x into ETH2 and have it live as two chains, one living within the other. Uh, not so much two chains, but having the ETH1 kind of state transition system live within the other. So the distinction is that like the state transition system just means like the state and like how the rules for processing transactions, the rules for updating the state like, when you process transactions. And that can stay unchanged even while you change the consensus, right? So you could change the consensus to proof of work. You can uh, kind of copy that state and or kind of run it inside of a different proof of stake chain. And so the like, account balances, like all the applications, uh, keep running as is, but then for the proof of work chain as it exists, like would be gone. And there would not even be two separate chains, like the ETH1 transactions and the ETH2 related stuff would all be in the same block. Uh, okay, so there won't even be two tokens in this system. No, none of the plans involve two tokens. Okay, great. Well, thank you for having us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.